Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today we are checking out what might be the most exciting mystery portal to date in Garden Warfare 2. You may know that there have been some brand new updates hitting the game and one of them has been adding Taco Bandits to the mystery portal. I think it's a little bit different than the Garden Warfare 1 Taco Bandit, but still, one of a fan favorite modes in Garden Warfare 1 was Taco Bandits and now, Capture the Taco is available in Garden Warfare 2. It is our mystery portal for this week. Capture the Taco is on and plants and zombies are spawning everywhere. Players capture the opposing team's taco while defending their own. How cool is that? So we're gonna check out this new game mode to Garden Warfare 2 and the mystery portal in today's episode. Afterwards, I have 155 rainbow stars that I need to spend. I'm gonna be trying to spend some of them in today's episode as well. So let's get started with all that and hop in to capture some tacos. Okay, so I will have videos checking out the new Hover Goat and Torchwood outfits that I have. For right now, I might just play with a character I'm a little bit more familiar with. Um, I you know, let's just go with the soldier for now. Just try to figure some things out and see how this game mode works, because the weirdest thing about it is that the game mode takes place in the backyard battlegrounds, which is a very weird choice to me. It looks like we're waiting for players for some reason. Nobody's playing right now, really? I don't know about that. So I don't know if it just joined me up with some you know, like a smaller party, maybe other all the other parties were full, but we need at least probably one more person. There we go, we got somebody, cool. There we go, we're getting started. So it might be a small game to start, but that's fine. But that's the weird thing, is that this whole game mode takes place in the backyard. I hope that they bring it to other maps soon. It is a little weird that it's in the backyard, but a lot of people have been asking for the backyard to be a playable map for a while. I've never really seen the point of it. It just doesn't feel like it's a map designed for large scale multiplayer, but maybe with 2v2, oh now it's three versus two, that's not good. But we're supposed to defend this taco and get that taco. So I think for right now, I'm gonna work on defending as we figure this out, but you may notice there is some extra foliage around. We got like a big old tree in the center here, which actually works pretty well, I like the idea. So for right now, I'm just gonna sort of play it safe and try to find out where the uh, plants are and try to stop them from getting us. It's three versus one though, which is so unfair. I might actually end up switching teams here in a second if that keeps going. So it looks like the goat got the, uh, the taco. All right, that's fine. Oh yeah, they're working as a team. Okay, oh and he left. Okay, fine, I'll do the right thing. We'll go on the plant team. That really isn't very cool. I don't know who jumped over like that. What was, oh wait, no, I don't wanna play as Torchwood. I was gonna play as a, uh, Something I can survive with, probably Colonel Corn will be my best bet. <laughs> I actually just want to play the game mode though. That would be best. It is very weird playing a multiplayer game and the zombies captured a taco. We're so gonna lose this one, but I'll do what I can. I wish there were more people playing. This is a little weird. I mean, what is it? It's Friday. So maybe some people are at school or something. Okay, there goes the butter. Come on, come on, come on. Get you, get you, get you. I almost got you. I know I do. Husk up. Oh no. He dodged it. He did a pretty good job with that. Ah, oh, he got me. I haven't played it in a little while, so I'm bound to be rusty as well. But we'll just try to keep playing and see if we can't get more people to join. Finally, it's 2v2. That's good, that's good. That'll help me out a little bit. So you know what? The coolest thing about this, oh, and they added more, is that you can use the cannon. So they're gonna capture those tacos, but you know what? I'm gonna start capturing their tacos. And I don't know if it's like Gnome Bomb, where once we grab the taco, we can't attack anymore or something. I think we can attack, because I mean, he took me out when I had the taco. I said, well, I have the taco and I'm supposed to return it that way. Feels like we're moving a little bit faster though, the zombies have captured a taco. Okay, it's fine. The one thing is that you cannot use your abilities at all. Okay, the problem is that, I don't know where our teammates are. Oh, we left! Oh, come on, I'm back on my own again. You can go quite a ways around though. Oh gosh, I'm almost there though. I'm almost there. I know they're chasing me down. I mean, they're gonna win if you know I don't stop them and return my own taco, but it's impossible when it's one versus two. Come on, keep running. Oh, look at this, it's closed. Weird, I've never seen that before. It's very, very odd. And there's like no bobbleheads or anything. And you gotta bring it back to where the skill, not the skill, the uh, stats are usually. Very weird. And I guess there are some uh, things going on, but they're not mine. Oh, what about the sticker shop? Zombies captured a taco, surprise, surprise. They outnumber me, what can I do? <laughs> we'll try to find a larger game after this, but this is really the gist of it. I mean, it's unfortunate that there aren't too many people playing and that it's not on more than one map, but hopefully that'll change at some point. Oh, it's damage you now, I have the chance. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, he's, sh he's shooting back, he's shooting back. Let me throw some, throw some butter over. Oh, and there's the imp over there too. Ooh, this is nasty. Not too much I can do about this. Oh, I see you. You don't think I see you? I see you all right. Oh no, now the imp's got me. Yeah, two versus one. There's an obvious, uh, obvious uh, 
result to this match. That's okay. It, it's fun to check out for sure, though. I am a little confused as to why they just did this, though. Like, I don't know why they didn't do it with the other maps. I guess just because it would take an extra bit of balancing. But I feel like that's sort of been a big criticism. And this is something I've been meaning to get into for a while, is that a lot of people have been heavily criticizing this update. And I feel like it's a little bit of a 50-50 for me. While I think that we should be very happy that there was an update at all, I do feel like maybe they could have put a little bit more time into it, and I don't think too many people would have complained. Because it's one of those things, right, where the Hover Goat and the Torchwood have outfits, and a lot of people think that they should have just been variants, and I definitely agree, but, I mean, if they didn't have the time to, like, maybe this is the most resources they had. Like, that's sort of a thing, right? Is a lot of people really wanted the update as soon as possible. But, you know, because of that, they probably didn't have enough time to turn them into variants. Because a lot of people don't know how long it takes to make a variant. It takes, you know, a lot of time to play test. And that's sort of the big thing, is that this update would have taken much, much longer if they were actually variants. I believe, because of all the play testing they would have had to do to make a good balanced variant. Um, I mean, at this point, we waited two years for the update. I don't think it would have been a big deal if we had to wait any longer, you know, even if it was like an extra few months, even if we had to wait until like February or March. I think a lot of people would have been totally fine with that if it was six new variants instead of six new outfits. But I mean, I'm happy for what we got. It's a whole lot better than nothing. I mean, keep in mind, the only, only reason they didn't work on new updates is because one thing, the Garden Warfare team got smaller, some people did leave the team, and beyond that, they need EA's approval before they can actually make any updates. So it is good to see that EA was willing to approve of this update, and hopefully that means that we can see more updates soon. And I know I'm playing awful right now. There's this, I mean, I'm just outnumbered constantly, so there's not really too much I can even do about it. But yeah, that's sort of some of my thoughts on it. I'm not, you know, heavily upset. I, I would have, you know, of course liked more, I always do. But I'm still happy for what we've got because it could have been nothing. You know, EA could have never approved another Guard of War for two update again, and we would have just been stuck with what we have. So it is cool to see more. But yeah, with that being said, I'm still pretty happy. I will be checking out whatever Hover Goat and Torchwood uh, outfits. I keep on wanting to say variants because it's so much more natural to me. But whatever outfits I can, I will showcase them. Uh, we have the purple goat and we have the gingerbread house torchwood. So I'll be showcasing those two in upcoming episodes. I thought that. Sorry, I saw the goat over there. I know they captured a taco. Surprise, surprise again. There's really not much I can do about it. <laughs> I'll be trying. But until we can get a more balanced thing going on, we do definitely walk slightly faster. But then we walk really slow all of a sudden. Like it gives us a speed boost and slows us down. My aim is awful today. Oh, I got him though. It's good enough. Well, if two people are attacking you, there's only so much you can do about it. Okay, so uh, how much time is left? We only have a minute 44. So after this, I'll try to find a bigger party, but the chances are I might not be able to. I don't know if just many people aren't playing. I know, of course, a lot of big games released this weekend and like a lot of updates to other big games. So I just don't know if too many people are actually playing the update right now. And like I said, I'm playing in 2.30, so it's still technically during a school day. So I'm guessing a lot of people are just busy. But it's the time I had to play, and I figure it's better than nothing, right? So let's go ahead and capture this taco. Cause like I move fast, and then I start moving. I mean, I guess I start moving normal speed. It gives you like a slight speed boost, but just for a second, I don't know why. It's sort of a weird choice. I don't know if that's how it originally was in Taco Bandits. But I do feel like, okay, let's start talking about this game mode a little bit more. I think the one thing that is weird, there's a couple things that's weird. I I get that they're trying to rechange the name because it's not exactly the same as Taco Bandits. There is a number of things that are different. First off, there's no uh, cutout. That was sort of the thing about uh, Taco Bandits is that only zombies could steal the taco and bring it to where they were going to go. Plants couldn't. So this is a game mode that's a little bit more neutral. Oh, I'm supposed to get this way. I always forget that. I thought I was supposed to bring it to my taco. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, you stinker. You stinker, come on, just let me get the taco, come on. Ah, uh, that stinks. Is the taco still there though? Because if so, I might be able to grab it. I don't know, how, yep, it's still there. Okay, I gotta go quick, but I can get it. Ooh, they've never minded me. That's good. I wanna get at least two points. Come on, we got 13 seconds to get back over there. Go, 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 go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah, two points, woo! We did it, but that's what's so different about this is both plants and zombies can capture the taco, but I don't think that's exactly necessary. I feel like the 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 way that Taco Bandits was originally designed was plenty fine. Oh, I like how it says taco time on the uh, little meter there. That's cool. 
Uh, but yeah, there we go. There's our first game of Taco Ben. It didn't go very swimmingly because it was one versus two, but hey, if that's all I can do, that's all I can do. Oh, awesome, so I was actually able to join a larger party. Now, this is gonna be a lot more interesting because of that. I like it, so lots more people going around. But I figure, you know, I'll get this game in and then I'll pro try to talk about properly my, you know, my thoughts and criticisms so far this game, but it looks like it just started to it's zero to zero. So we'll fight tooth and nail, just try to make sure that we uh, get some zombies taken down, make sure they don't take our tacos. I'm gonna help out with this vanquish as much as possible. Got it, and then turn towards you. Oh, almost a direct hit, but not really any damage landed. Come on, come on, come on. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Oh, not bad, not bad, but now I'm gonna get taken on by a super brains. Oh gosh, oh gosh, watch out, watch out. Ah, oh, man, I got a good couple of anguishes there though, not bad. But yeah, one thing is that, it, like, it really isn't the same as Taco Bandits in some ways. It really is like a different game mode. Okay, see so yeah, a hover good over this way. Get him, get him. Ooh, teamwork, teamwork. I do like how this guy is setting up a bunch of, uh, of the uh, spike weeds over here. That's pretty good. Okay, let's get the scientist a little bit. Scientist a little bit. Nice, and then there is a hover go over this way. <laughs> Look at that torch one. That is so silly looking, I love it. Um, okay, got a scientist this way. I thought I heard him. He was over that way the whole time. Come on, we gotta get that taco. Somebody's already taken it. I'll beat him up as much as I can from here. Our team's delivering a taco though. Good job, good job. I'm gonna get over there as fast as I can. I don't know if there's anything I can do to like disable the taco and bring it back to our location. I don't know. For right now, let's just vanquish him. Good job, team. And then reset the taco. This is what I'm looking for. There we go. Plants captured a taco and we reset ours. It's very good. Working well as a team. I don't know if we have a larger team than the zombies. No, same size. Awesome. Now, this is what I'm looking for. When there are more players, this is genuinely a whole lot more fun. I like it. So, try to get rid of this welder a little bit. And I can tell now, it does feel like the one thing that the uh, Backyard Battleground map has is it does feel like a bit more of an open arena than any of the actual multiplayer maps. So that does actually work pretty well for this version of Capture the Taco. So the more I'm playing this, the more I'm sort of getting the idea they had behind the scenes. It's just on paper, it does feel like a more lackluster version of Capture the Taco. Because if you think about it, like I said before, while only the plants, or only the zombies could capture the taco before, um, you know, there was one thing that was like specifically like the cardboard cut out of Crazy Dave, there was um, the ability to set up plant pots, like that kind of stuff. They'd sort of change that out here just for a more neutral thing, and I don't know how good of an idea that was. Like, I think it works here on the Backyard Battleground specifically, but I think if they are going to work on more updates, I think the community would love to see an actual return of Taco Bandits on new, you know, the new Garden Warfare 2 maps. Basically the same way it was in Garden Warfare 1, I don't think it really needed to be fixed, you know? Um. Felt like there was sort of like a case of, you know, breaking or fixing what wasn't broken, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the whole Taco Bandit situation. And I think that that's all we really wanna see is a Taco Bandit style game mode. I mean, not even style, just literally Taco Bandits on Garden Warfare 2 maps, making it it's just sort of like a fresh idea in that, in that way. I think that'd be fine. And you know, then there's the argument, well, Garden Warfare 2 seems to be a lot more about unifying, you know, what you can do as a plant and zombie. You know, like in Garden Warfare 2, you can play in Garden Ops as both plants and zombies. And there is, you know, uh, there's Gardens and Graveyards, but then there's Herbal Assault, which is basically the plant version of Gardens and Graveyards. So it seems like with every zombie thing, there's a plant version. Every plant thing, there's a zombie version. So what would you do about that? Well, I think that would just be really simple. Just make a zombie version of it where the zombies have to capture something equivalent to a taco. You know what that would be? Pop Smarts. It's something, you know, we've had a lot of uh, Zomboss talk about, a Pop Smart. So it's like, it, the idea sort of writes itself. It would take a little bit of extra work and that goes to what I was talking about earlier. It seems like, I don't wanna say they rushed this because they really did take their time, but it seems like, you know, it took a little while because of the limited resources the team has right now. It really does seem like the team has some limited resources. I keep forgetting what team I'm on, by the way. And because of that, it seems like this is the best they could do, and, I, I, and that's totally fine. But I sort of would have rather them take three, four, even like six more months on the update if it could have been a better update. Now there has been word that maybe they're not just unleashing it all at once, but maybe they're going to be just trying to steadily release content solely throughout the next couple months. And if that works, then awesome. I just don't know how well that's gonna work out because that's something they've talked about before and it hasn't panned out all the way. I mean, I'm sure I don't have to remind anybody of like the 
six to eight months in 2017 where Rux basically did nothing and it, it's, there was nothing really going on in the game. Um, and I think a lot of people are just worried about that when they say, okay, we're gonna be trickling out the content, that maybe that won't end up being as exciting as it sounds. So, you know, there's sort of like a lot in the air right now. I think that what we got was fun and I'm super glad about it, but I think that there's definitely a ton of room for more. So I'm hoping that we can get more. And I think a lot of people are hoping that we can get more. And I don't think that should be denouncing what they have done. I think it's just, you know, excite, you know, excitement for the future. Hopefully we will eventually be able to get to see, you know, Torchwood and Hover Goat variants and other new variants would be cool as well, you know? Even if they only made one or two Torchwood Hover Goat variants, I would love to see some new legendaries at some point. I know they did confirm, oh, that's a, that's a uh, chomper. Don't need to attack him. I know they did confirm that there were some new, um, uh, special effect mode, you know, for solo ops, or not solo ops, but solo play. You know, how sometimes you'll have like infinite ammo or one hit takedown. They added a couple more of those and I'm sure we'll eventually take or check out. That would be pretty fun. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I got you a little bit there. Didn't do enough damage. Oh well, we're doing pretty well. Vanquish streak times four, another super brains and he is getting taken down one way or another. Come on, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Wow, he is tough. Okay, Vanquish Streak times five, perfect. Oh gosh, that's a mech. That's a mech. That's a mech. Ah, oh, oh well. So overall, this is a fun game mode. I'm not gonna say this isn't fun. I just think that we should still see a real return to Taco Bandits, and they could do that. You know, we could have captured the taco once every other month here on uh, the Mystery Portal, but then have a full-fledged Taco Bandits mode. And maybe that's what they have planned all along. Maybe just the Taco Bandits mode does take a little bit of extra developing because you do need to find out, you know, where you want to put them on each map, and you have to find out if that's a balance, and you have to play test it a lot. And I feel like that's sort of the hardest thing to do is play test, and I think a lot of people overlook that when it comes to making variants and maps and game modes, is balancing takes a long time to do because there's not, no way to expedite the process. You just gotta try it out, test it out, find the errors, fix them. Try it out again, test it out, find the errors again, fix them. Realize that maybe that wasn't much of an error, maybe you should go back to this one and fix that, you know? It takes a lot of work to play test a game, which is why people will pay other people to play the game and write down everything they have a problem with it. You know, like play testing is an actual occupation people have. That shows you how much work it takes. So it can be a bit of a crazy thing. There we go, we got Vanquish Master for that too. Cool, I didn't realize I got the most Vanquishes on the team, so we got an extra 5,000 coins there. Awesome stuff. But yeah, that's sort of my thoughts on everything. I really hope there's more coming soon, eventually. If that's in two months, five months, six months, who knows? But I just hope that we see that this isn't the end of updates for Garden Warfare. But yeah, 19 Vanquishes in total. We got the top performers. Very cool to see this in front of the town hall. Awesome stuff. What's funny is that we could just adventure off to the far corners of the map and just hang out. It's just such a weird concept. So there we have it. There was a quick look at the Capture the Taco game mode. I'm definitely gonna be playing a little bit more of this as we check out some of the Goat and Torchwood outfits that I'll be showcasing soon. But for now, that's probably gonna wrap it up. I said that I have 155 rainbow stars. Yeah, weird, we didn't get any rainbow stars for winning that. That is very unlike a Mystery Portal game mode. Odd, hmm. Anyways, we have 155, so we can spend some here. I got a 50 for this rainbow, or the red chest, the red rainbow star chest. I'll be opening that, and the blue and yellow one, so definitely get some good rewards out of this. It'll be fun. And we'll check out what those are. Probably just more set pieces, but you know they're always worth getting. Look at all these diamonds, nice stuff. Okay, so let's open those up right here. Stocking the sticker shop, that's cool. So let's start with the, let's start with the, the smallest amount, the yellow and the red and the blue. So the yellow, we got the Detective Z set uh, facial hair, pretty cool. Then we also have the blue one, which give, give us two items. It is the Super Saver set accessory and the Pet Fish set accessory, pretty cool. And then finally, the red mystery portal pack. What does this one have? It has the sushi set, the robot set, and, well not the robot set, the uh, robot uh, taunt, and then the gold concrete head. Uh, I would have preferred three set pieces, but hey, more stuff is always good. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. Like I said before, be sure to let me know your thoughts on the Capture the Taco game mode. If you think it's good, bad, anywhere in between, I would love to hear about it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this for the video, make sure you comment Zebra Taco so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.